Welcome to Picture Healer channel. In this video, we will talk about how to select a house or an apartment to buy or to rent. That's lucky for Piri 9. And we will also show you the basic Piri 9 Feng Shui chart. Since we are at the end of the Piri 8 Feng Shui, and the Piri 9 will start from 2024 to 2043 for 20 years. So what do we need to pay attention when we are selecting a house that's ready for Feng Shui Piri 9? First, we have to start with the basic. You have to pick the right location and the right neighborhood because a good neighborhood has a collective lucky energy and that will save you a lot of problems in the future. And this includes all the basic. You need to look at the safety of the location, transportation, education, any culture or social interest. And it depends on your lifestyle. Everybody will have different choices. And the second point is to look at the basic feng shui for animals. We want to have some type of support in the back, usually higher behind the building. The front should have an open, beautiful view that represents your bright future. And the left and right side should be balanced with some type of support. Your building should be in harmony with your neighborhood buildings. You don't want to be the highest building or the lowest one. You don't want to go extreme on either directions. And the third point is to check any Sha Qi around the house. This is usually viewed from the door and windows. When you are looking out the doors and the windows, do you see any problems? For example, are you located in a T-junction and you see traffic directly coming to your house? That is one type of Sha Qi. Or maybe there is a big electric pole, telephone or cell phone tower right in front of your door or window. That is also not very lucky. Or if your neighborhood's house has a sharp edge pointing at your window or door, or there's a very strong reflection of the light through their glass from their window and reflecting to your house, those are also the Sha Qi we should try to avoid. The number four is try to avoid any missing corners. This is a very basic one, but it's easily ignored. If there's a missing corner in any direction, that can mean some part of your life is missing or not as strong. Each corner represents a family member or different energy. So if you are missing one corner, you might have very weak relationship with that person in your family. And in period 9, it's more important to have north and south not missing because the number 9 is related to south on the Bagua map. So south is a very powerful position in period 9. If you are missing the south corner, you are missing out a lot of good fortune during period 9. In Feng Shui, the mountain usually represents health and relationship luck and the water can be related to career and representing money. And depends on the location of the water and mountain related to your house, your luck can change. And that's one important area when we look at the flying star chart. There are many different types of flying star feng shui chart. And one classical type is the chart based on the house facing and seating directions and also the house construction date. The facing and seating direction include the 24 mountains or the 24 directions. And plus each construction period has a different chart. So there are many different house charts. If you are interested, you can Google and do some research you can find the charts online. This house chart has three numbers in each of the nine sectors. The one below is the period chart, either period eight or period nine, 
depends on your construction period. And the upper two numbers, one is the mountain star or the sitting stars that represents health, and the other one is a facing star representing your money luck. And depending on the location of the nine flying stars, we find the best location for mountain and the best location for water. So there are many different combinations and it's hard to just generalize it. But we can still look at a very basic and generalize the chart for period 9. Just like period 8, there is a basic chart. And in the house chart, based on the facing direction and the house period, that's the number on the bottom. It shows your period chart. You can call it the period star or the base star. So here is a basic flying star period 9 chart. This will stay for whole period 9 if you have a period 9 house. And since we are not in period 9 yet, this chart really doesn't exist. Nobody has this chart. When we say you have a period 9 feng shui chart, that means the house is constructed during period 9. That's from 2024 to 2043 or you have major renovation during period 9. So we are just taking a sneak peek and the period 9 feng shui chart. So this is the basic period 9 flying star chart. And you can see the number 9 is in the center. In the period 9 chart, south is the number 4 star. That represents intelligence. This is a very good location for a bedroom or an office. And we'll look at the three white stars. Number one white, six white, and the eight white stars. They are in the northwest, southwest, and southeast. Those three are lucky stars, but the number one will be the best because for period nine, number one is a very tiny star. And the number six and number eight are outdated. Even though they are outdated, but they are basically lucky stars. So it's not really anything serious. And the number two illness star is in the west. In period nine, number two is not as bad as in period eight because it's also a timely star. In period nine, the best star is number nine and the second best is number one. And number two is like the third best star. But because number two is an illness star, so we should still pay attention to prevent any health issues. And the north area, we have number five, the five yellow misfortune star. So we should pay attention to the north area too. And we talk about the best water and mountain feature in period nine before. In general, the best location for mountain is the south. And the best direction for water is the north. And the second best direction for mountain is northwest, and the second best direction for water is southeast. But this is very general. And if you know your house direction and you have your house chart, you can look at the sitting star and facing star to find more detailed information and to find the best mountain and water location based on your house chart. Since every feng shui chart has positive and negative areas, it's best to look at the three major locations, the main entrance, the master bedroom, and the kitchen stove. If those are in the lucky location, then it's basically a lucky feng shui house. So thank you so much for watching today and talk to you next week.